Hi, welcome. My name's Jeremy. Welcome. Okay, we're going to cut that. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Yeah, take three. <laughs> welcome to the FNL Review. My name is Jeremy. I do bar stuff here at Fat Sammy's in downtown Huntsville, Alabama. Today we're going to do a tiki cocktail from the 1960s called the Saturn. Stay tuned. The Saturn cocktail is a delicious tipple that we serve here at Fat Sammy's. It is kind of simple on one hand, but also it has a lot of complex ingredients in it. Uh, originally, it was made by a bartender named Jay Popo Galsini. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not though, don't fact check me. But anyway, this guy, Popo, that was his nickname, won the World International Bartending Competition in 1967 with this drink, the Saturn. And the drink name has to do with the garnish, which basically you take a lemon and twist it up so it looks like the rings of Saturn. I'm not gonna do that though. I'm a basic bitch bartender and I don't wanna go to that extra level. But I will still use a lemon expression because it's important for the final drink. But uh, yeah, let's get into the build of the cocktail, the Saturn. Get a glass. Normally this is served up. Let me, let me rewind a bit. Normally this is served up with that ringlet of lemon, but I prefer it on a big cube and just a simple swath of lemon expression. So if you look it up online versus this video, you'll see a difference there. Also, there's multiple versions of this drink, um, all calling for the same ingredients in different proportions. So the version I'm gonna give you is the version that I tested and liked. I made a couple of modifications to it, but uh, I know for a fact this version is on point. So get yourself a mixing vessel. You know I like to use salt. Again, this is 20% salt to 80% water. So a few drops of that. We're gonna use a quarter ounce of Orgeat, which we make in house. And again, this is an almond syrup that we fortify and aromatize. So we're using a quarter ounce of Orgeat. Half an ounce of passion fruit syrup that we also make in house. Three quarters an ounce of fresh lemon juice. A quarter ounce of falernum. We're using John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum. You could also make it yourself if you want to. Uh, I actually have a video on it. Not that I'm trying to self-promote, but I do. So a quarter ounce of falernum. And falernum is essentially a spiced citrus and almond liqueur with ginger that's used in a lot of tiki drinks. It's very popular in the Caribbean. So this is gonna give it a sweet, slightly spiced element. Last up is gin. We're gonna use a quarter and an ounce of beef eater. You can substitute a different gin if you'd like. Um, I like the citrus element that beef eater brings. Um, I also think though that Plymouth would work well. You'd have an earthier, more full-bodied version of a Saturn, but this is where you can kind of substitute. But in this case, we're using one and a quarter ounce of beef eater gin. So because of the orja in here and also the passion fruit, if I shake this hard enough with agitator cubes, then you're gonna have a very pretty foamy top. It almost looks like egg whites. So a few of these agitator cubes, and these are the little square cubes that I use if I wanna really beat up a drink and get it really aerated. And then you're gonna do a long shake, probably around 15 seconds to 18 seconds of a vigorous shake so I get that nice foam. What am I on? If you're ever unsure as to whether or not you've stirred or shaken a drink long enough, do it a bit longer. Now I want a big cube of ice. And I'm gonna strain it over that big cube. You can see the foam already, all that white, foamy goodness. And you're gonna see it as it settles, almost like a, uh, like a nitrous beer, like a Guinness, you'll see on top. You're gonna see the bubbles settle and it'll form a really nice head on the top. 
Again, this is where it would be a bit controversial because the original version did not garnish the way that I'm gonna garnish. I'm doing a very simplified, but I would argue pragmatic garnish, where you're just doing expression of lemon peel. Again, in the original cocktail, you would do these ringlets that resembles the rings of Saturn, if you're so inclined. So I'm just gonna express it. And again, if you've seen previous videos, I'm just squeezing over the drink. And yet, if you could see closer up, there's lots of little bubbles where the oil is floating. And I'm just gonna put it in there. And that's it. So you see how the drink is starting to settle? It's starting to get more of the color. Right now the foam is, because I shook it so hard and so long, it's still kind of settling. But if you were to give it like 20 seconds or so, you're gonna see this nice layer of foam and then a really beautiful kind of yellow orange color underneath it. Uh, but I'm not gonna wait that long, so uh, just trust me on this. Cheers. Shit. <laughs> That's good. All right, thanks for watching. That's a good fucking drink.